Hey, traders. What's going on? Welcome to episode 413. Happy Monday to you. Blah, Monday, man. It's raining, dude. Storm clouds. Ugh. And that's because of Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin price action. Normally going to change the forecast up. You can see the base mat overlay. Thunderstorms up there. No bueno, man. No bueno. Sorry to see that so many people were not able to get notifications because I posted a static video and I got to work on that. got to figure out a way to make it uh, work because I was definitely like late by like an hour. But hey, at least in the clo in this coming hour, our daily candle will close. So that's good. Maybe we'll get some sort of volatility. Maybe. But I don't know. I'm just looking at BTS, BTC. Posted a chart on Patreon about Momo Shift, about us breaking out. We had broken out of a downsloping structure on bit shares whatever that is okay well you know we've actually had trade set up with this before last spring but uh we ran up our targets were the 50 percent and 618 we hit the 50 percent and sold off like hardcore man so it looks like everyone else was selling there too so uh cool man yeah just look at that discernible swing high to low you hit it man it was perfect it was glorious and now we're back down to 1533 sats. So, uh, but who cares, man? It's gonna hopefully continue on, man. Up swing, right? Just keep on making higher highs, higher lows. The momentum has shifted. The lows, the lower lows, the lowest low, the higher lows, the higher lows, the higher highs. Great to see. Other altcoins do look like this right now to the BTC pair. I'm sure the US dollar pair Cryptos have been uh, definitely hit pretty hard by the Bitcoin sell-off. And uh, the sell-off, man, come on. We're just barely holding on to that 200 moving average. Go to Bitcoin. We, you know, When we did the static video, we actually analyzed this asset that is so important. So many people need their Bitcoin fix. That's fine. We'll give it to you. We'll give you your Bitcoin fix. 54 minutes left on the daily and four hour and yeah uh, is it uh, are we the bottom is showing some clear rejection down here the 50 percent retrace at 3864 right your low point to high, <clears throat> high point you've hit that but we would we would expect to target eventually at 3818 i don't know if we're gonna get it i feel like we're getting some rejection like this because what when you get to areas of some sort of support where there's fib nodes some moving averages or horizontal line supports and you're oversold chances are it's going to be very difficult to continue selling off okay especially when there's very little volume involved so uh that's why we're kind of getting this rejection these two rejection wicks right now and holding so uh maybe what we do is we just go sideways we slightly upslope for a little while and we reset the oscillator and then we sell off again and hopefully we can hit that 618 and if the stars align, we might hit the 100%. That'd be a third windfall target for a bearish cipher trade setup. So, hey man, whatever, dude. Same analysis I just gave in the static video. If you haven't seen the static video, I think it'd be very appropriate, very uh, advantageous for you to do it just because I condensed down trading strategies, trading plan, all right? What you need to do before you even hit buy or short, all right? Very important. Okay. Not really much topic of discussion besides Bitcoin and where are we going next? I think we just discussed it, man. What do you want from me, dude? Okay. What do you even want? Can't even get, you know, our audience notifications to see, to know even that I'm live. So it's like, meh, whatever, dude. So uh, take a look at chat real quick. Can I do it earlier? And the Rosano man, thanks for sharing it on Reddit and FaceTube. FaceTube. But book face. That's the place I know. All right. Hello, uh, Kanatomo man. The Womp Womps. Yeah. Zachary says Monkey S. Hey, Zachary man. Another round of S coin basketball. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Adrian went fishing, caught nothing. Time to make money instead. Hey, dude, this is a form of fishing on the charts, man. We're fishing. But we fish using, you know, sonar. And sonar for us, I guess comparatively would be indicators coinciding variables right that is our tracker our fish tracker all right what's up bob field man how you doing dude uh, billy langford dude i wasn't kidding about my comment on the static video to you when are, dude call your storm chasers if you're for real dude i'll literally go up there as soon as uh we can as soon as like it's uh ready and appropriate i know per or tornado seasons it's 
we're here. It's here, man. The strongest one. So uh, talk to him, dude. I'm ready to come in and do things. Live stream of Tornado, man. What's up, Pablo, man? Uh, can you get Greenville, Alabama from where you are? Are you on 589 AM? Yeah, you got 88.8 .8 WREY FM, and then you got 589 AM. Oh my god, man. I need to get that some sort of sound clip. It's like a static -y, F A M E, right? Sounding clip so I can play it. Hilarious. So, Chalen, dude. You got a notification through Discord? Yeah, dude. I mean, that's pretty much all your. It's either that or Twitch. Twitch, it's. It's a. Fail. It's like, what is it? A fail safe, man. You sub or follow me on Twitch, you'll never miss a notification. And if you're in the Discord, you'll never miss a notification as long as the, they're turned on. All right. What's up, Adrian? Says, mmm, XRP. What? Mmm. Mmm. Why? Mmm. Why would you say something like that, man? How could you do it, man? All right. Yeah, still, uh, still going, man. We got the one four, uh, hundred forty-five percent retrade. Well, you know, but we're looking at XRP to BTC. So one six one eight, one six one eight B to C would be around seventy three hundred. So uh, I mean, it looks like we could get there. The way we're just selling off so methodically. All right. So anyway, but I don't think you're probably talking about USDT or something or USD. Yeah, it hasn't done anything, man. Why with the moons? What's up, true standard dude? Rasmus. Says thanks first for the video sent earlier. Uh, things we all know but tend to forget. Uh, are you kidding me? Things we all know. Most people don't know that stuff at all, dude. Like most people outside of this community have no idea that's how it is. Okay, so yeah, though you might know it here, and that's why we always joke about reiteration of education. It's like uh, you may not have known it at one time. There was one time when you had no idea that's how it was, right? So. <sighs> You didn't get a notification. Yep, of course you won't. Private wins, man. It's just not gonna happen. Oh my God, he did, Billy, man. Wow, he's so smart, dude. Wow. You care, Billy, man? Are you sure you care, dude? Well, come on, dude. Tornado chasing ain't gonna. A tornado is not gonna chase itself. All right. So. Suburban, dude. You said a long time to see what is new. Uh. Well, new video posted just uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago, so check it out. Hello, Tom Cat, Peter Powell Morgan, man. Pleased to be back. Hey, that's why we're posting uh, static videos for you, Peter Powell. We knew you were gone, so back to posting new static videos ever again, Kappa. All right, man. <clears throat> hey, uh, Jakester, MJ, thank you, dude. I appreciate it, man. How's Ethereum looking? Uh, well, we'll go to it right now. Okay, that's, that's Bitcoin kind of rejecting lower prices for now, but that might just be because we're over sold and we're at critical areas of support while being oversold so it's never one thing it's always multiple things that are occurring at the same time <clears throat> okay so we had ethereum it final hey remember monkey s Price contract, look, we were contracting on price, lower highs, higher lows. All right, the rising wedge, we fell out of it, man. Fell out of it, but as Bitcoin's doing, so is Ethereum trying to attempt to Harami or engulf. I don't know what it's going to end up doing. We've got about 47 minutes left on the daily and four hours. So uh, you do have, I mean, from this low to this potential low, we have divergence forming, bullish divergence. So good luck hitting down here. If you have bullish divergence, you might be expecting to move the upside soon. So uh, we'll see how it plays. We might back test this trend line that was once a support as resistance before selling off again. But uh, unknown, not enough data. Need some more pattern development. Need to pretty much need to see Bitcoin uh, sell off some more. To the, I, I just want to see it hit 618. That made me real happy. Because that'd be that second target of our cipher. So, anyway, man, uh, bearish convergence on the RSI. So maybe, just maybe, some slight bullish divergence on the MACD. But we were seeing slight bullish divergence on Ripple yesterday, just a little bit. I mean, it wasn't that much. It was on four hour though, and so just nope. So that's theory, man. We fell out of the rising wedge, but 
not on any kind of volume so it's kind of suspect it's like hey man normally when you break these patterns you want to see volume come in you want to see much larger impulses down and we did not get that all right did not get it and my god man i mean like bitcoin's dump was only like uh from for where we are right now from the dump we've we've dropped uh, like 50 bucks dude it's like nothing man like nothing so none of this stuff's really a big deal but it's great to see that uh, harmonics are playing out okay so um, ha you know almost to that second target so steven stan man i appreciate uh the compliment on the video dude so ben smith mike a how you doing dude Thanks, Vazan King. I appreciate it, man. Really appreciate the feedback and uh, support on these static videos I've been posting recently. Okay, man. It's just uh, we're changing things up. And, dude, little did I know that was all it was. It was just, oh, you have to play the YouTube game, right? You can't just live stream multiple times a day. You have to li live stream and post static videos. Hey, drink guy. Thanks for joining the Harmonic House, man. To Jesus, man. Kanks. All right. Thanks, dude. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can backtest if we get this divergence, but uh, guess what happens, man? I mean, look, you know what? Bitcoin's actually showing an ever so slight amount of MACD bullish divergence, believe it or not. I mean, we may not be done here, but let's go back to it real quick just because, wow. <laughs> ever so slight. And we may not be done selling, okay? May not be done at all, but almost just looks like a class. So that is a very, very slight form, but if you get another move down, say at the beginning of the new day and less than an hour, whatever, you're gonna invalidate that and get bearish convergence. But just for now, let it be noted that we might be developing some small form of class A bullish divergence on Bitcoin while being oversold. And that might be the only reason why we're showing this kind of price action at the 200 moving average and 50% retrace from the low to high. Okay. Selling continues, man. What was the breaking news the other night on XRP? Hey, I would love some ICX slash BTC thoughts PLS. Thanking you. Sure, Doug. Thanks for the three dollars thirty-three cents repeating. Of course, the Tron Connect in the jar. Thanks, man. Much love. Very cool, dude. Yeah, we'll look at it right after this. Okay. So that triangle breakout. Hey, man. I don't even want to talk about where we could go through the measure move. I just don't know if we'll be able to hit that measure move because there's just overwhelming amounts of support looking left. All right. So come on down to thirty point one five cents. We've been talking about right. If you broke this, you'd be running to the next supports. There is some support literally at this horizontal trend line. That area we just talked about. Okay, so very little volume. <clears throat> uh, you still, I know the momentum's building still, right? But you still have bullish divergence. If you look, if you're near over, so you had it here, but it's really invalidated. It's bearish convergence now, low, lower, low. Uh, lower levels of relative strength but the macd is still showing it so we're wherever we decide to round out or whatever we're gonna uh, be showing it and we might be getting some penny price action reversal how about that man you got a some sort of yeah, spinning top whatever you know almost a doji into another it's like a a double and see now you have a hammer developing right if, if all things stayed equal with 43 minutes left and it, it closed right now this would be a hammer and we might get a reversal with some bullish coverage, but uh, unknown, man. Uh, the, the good news is the volume is so scrubby on this breakout that anything could happen. So for the bulls, it, it might not be the worst thing in the world. I mean, there's just a lot of chop where we are. Tons of it, dude. Wicks, wicks, candles. So much, man. All right. Lots. Okay. So if you can't hold this, Bitcoin keeps selling off. You're looking at 30 0.15 cents and then below that is like 29.7 cents but uh, believe me i think we'll be live by the time that happens again all right cool awesome all right icx to btc that's what we've been looking at so some sort of falling wedge i believe it was just a momentum shift to exhaustion like the rest 
so yeah that falling wedge pattern right first off it was a huge selling that just was incessant it started back in like april 2018 and we finally got out of it in september but when we got out of it we made another lower low than our previous low but that was the last one uh actually i think we did yeah we kind of just double bottom we were finding support here november uh, that 544 area and uh down sloping trend lines that converge it's not the best looking wedge but hey it was a down sloping trend line and we broke it and look what's happened what's manifested from the height of the structure what do you want to call it a channel or a wedge because you can get away with both probably high to low we've retraced and we're in the golden zone now we hit the 50 percent retrace at 990 sats there you go man that's what we're talking about We've done it, and so now we're bouncing off that 200 moving average. Might be ready to go again if we can hold. And zooming in here, looks like there's just some sort of, you know, it probably uh, could chart some sort of channel at this point up sloping. I don't know if we could. There was that little head and shoulder that broke out but came right back up. So if you had anything, you might have broken it already. Okay. One and two, nope, perfect. Right at the bottom, that that's pretty nice, man. Heartline resistance, 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 okay? So we're in an upsloping channel now at the very bottom of it. So maybe we could hold above the 200 moving average on the four hour and this upsloping trend line, the bottom trend line of the channel, parallel channel that we're in. Maybe we could run again, man. Maybe we could run again. Uh, maybe you're gonna be looking at some sort of uh, yeah, is it flagging? I mean, you've got just a trend line, probably. Like that, okay? I mean, like, how do you use that, right? Is it, It's like the same thing we talk about, or you can't. Like, you here, here, here. No, it doesn't really make sense, all right? So, uh, I mean, just where it makes sense would be, like, right here. So it was like a false breakout. You're right back down. So, I mean, maybe, just maybe, we run again. It's probably just a, a yeah, like a flag, a little channel. Your price contraction, just like kind of rip, like Ethereum had before it broke out bearishly. So this thing uh, could very well continue on up, okay? That's it. Moves up, and then you consolidate down sloping very slightly. Not really a big deal. And, yeah, it could be ready to run again. And the 618 is 1101, but I think you're, look, you can see you hit the, heart line and then you sold off and you've not been able to break above that 382 at all ever since right so could just be getting ready ready to go again to test 990 and then maybe 1101 on icx this thing is uh doing great man and doing wonderful cool dude anyway let's <clears throat> go there's more chat and we'll just keep going i guess whatever So I can't, I don't even know where I'm at on chat. Let me see. Okay, I think I'm catching up. Dang, dude. Bitcoin hit this measure move. Did it, man? Did it? Oh, BCN all in, Billy, man. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, we're still making... Technically making higher lows, yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. I mean, pretty much, yes, on Bitcoin. Is there a Discord section for crypto charts? I don't know. I mean, like, there's the general. You can post anything in general, and that's uh, relevant to crypto charts, I guess, right? But uh, in Patreon, I'm posting charts, manufacturing charts, like scanning charts, posting charts, talking about setups and all that. Maybe ones that aren't even part of the Telegram, like like BTS. It was just one I was scanning. I'm like, oh my God, look at this one, man. And posted it. And then we posted it. We already had targets set up and we hit the first target on BTS. I man, I was like, oh my God. All right. So, I mean, if you want charts and you want my charts and you want lots of my charts in real time all the time, joining the Patreon is the best way to do it and being active in our Discord, exclusive Discord chat for patrons. All right. What's up, Dan Stiles? So good, Gordeski man. Still waiting for 88 drop, Greg man. 1941, dude. Friday. Fries. Okay. Great combos. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. Cool, dude. Wow. A lot of action. A lot of action today in live stream. Okay. 
I just Daily, Falling Wedge, beautiful, Kangs. Above the 200 moving average ICX, guess what, dude? Daily cross is almost imminent at this point. If you keep price action up like this, that daily cross, or that go daily golden cross will be occurring. 50 days, about to be crossing over the 200 day, and guess what, until now, last time we had, we had never even touched, the 200 day moving average didn't even exist when all this was going on. So it's the first time in history, ICX to BTC has hit the 200 day moving average. Congratulations. Please clap. Good job, dude. You did an ICX. Man. Congrats. Okay, dude. Great. Great. Someone's like, can you look at Tesla? I think it's Brad talking about spinning top or something. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to be maybe an abandoned baby. Come on, abandoned baby, dude. Interesting moves in market. Great education. No request for now, but keep on exploring weird desk coins. Lot of hidden gems around. Hope to spot them just stay before 500% run happens. Kevin Happy Man, thanks for the one Ethereum classic, dude. The cryptocurrency contribution, dude. Love those, man. Love those. People love fiat, though, so I can't make that. I can't get them to tip in crypto, but it's fun, man. It's fun to be able to do that. That we have the option and ability to do that. So th thanks, Captain Happy, for exercising your right to tip with cryptocurrency, man. Kangs. And you can tip with anything on Coinbase, I believe, at this point. So like that, ETC, ETH, BTC, BCH, ugh. XRP, I think now. Uh, BAT, right? I already said BAT, I think. I don't know. So you can check it out. So maybe, just maybe, dude, we're going to get ourselves an abandoned baby. Maybe we gap up tomorrow right around 264, and then that would be a reversal. And, and look, here's the thing, right, uh, Brad? I mean, we got the bullish divergence still go in full effect. We have bullish divergence with a potential abandoned baby reversal pattern. Holy crap. It could be time. Bradford, it could be time. Last time we were prizes like this, look, man, same thing. Same thing, right in this area, dude, Okay. Let's go abandon baby. Very real possibility. Not enough volume to be any kind of breakaway gap. We know this is just your everyday common gap that will most likely 75% ch chance of filling or just gapping right back up. Okay, so this seems, wow, very interesting. And, and the thing is, from the low to high up there, we're below the 886 now. So we've retraced about 90% of the way, 254 today, from the previous major low from October. So, wow. Holy crap. Just reading chat again. You have dash trade set up. Mitch Wilson Ray, the master sensei of the crypto Kaido Joe in Greenbow, Alabama. Could you check out XLM? Thanks, Mitch. Sure, man. Thanks, uh, Bob Weir. Bob Weird. Thanks, dude, for the 589. Like, the daily 589. Much love, dude. Okay. I can count on you, man. Kanks. Okay, dude, that's it. Yeah, bullish divergence still going on, man. Still real. Not really on the RSI so much, man. Like, on the way down, it's like, eh, you're just kind of making lower levels. But, like, from this low here... To the newest low, you still, I guess you still got it, man. You still got it in effect. Okay, bullish divergence from this low to this low, this low to this low to this low on the MACD. Interesting on Tesla, dude. All right, beaten down so hard, 90% retrace. Those partial declines, man, at those areas, right? Support, support, support. Over and over and over again. You're back to it again. Dude, you're back. You're back. All right. Cool. I just really don't know what XLM you want. XLM, XLM pair. Is it USD, VTC? I just don't know, man. I think every time we look at it, we're looking at, uh, <clears throat> you know. I'll tell you this, dude. Wow. 
double topped bearish divergence yeah go figure man go figure that you're selling off beautiful man well we're gonna look at excellent to btc i guess just since you're giving me the option when you just give me one ticker you're giving me the option to do whatever i want okay so i guess i'm just gonna look at excellent to btc man all right insane break to the downside uh, we finally broke out though we broke out february 19th and we've been running ever since higher lows but things got a little too uh, crazy a little too weird too fast we had horizontal lines drawn here already dude okay yeah critical resistance points look left man do you not remember this this is the area we broke we retraced all the way back up to those areas and could not break them of course not man how are you gonna break that dude it's gonna be very tough all right, so uh, what'd you do when you got up there? You literally had a fantastic looking double top. You had very nice bearish divergence. On the RSI, MACD. Well, yeah, you really kind of had bullish convergence, right? Uh, so, so bearish divergence in the RSI doesn't look too good there. But really, from this spike to this spike, we have just lower levels. But now you're making bearish convergence, and now you you did make bearish convergence right here at this little peak at the 50 moving average. You sold off, you're making a lower low than previous low, and you are showing a uh, near over sold territory. And yeah, you're definitely showing some bullish divergence now. But we fell. It looks like we fell right back into that channel of some sort. Let's no okay make sure i got this anchor right wow dude look at this so i want anchor point one and two on the bottom and three on the top four on the top and we're just back testing it right now holy crap and if you're talking about some sort of double top then you just go i don't think we've hit the measure move nope measure move of that double top was like down here so you're pretty close but uh I don't know, man. You're holding support with some bullish divergence near oversold territory on XLM to be TC. All right. Beautiful, though. Retrace to levels where there were there was resistance because there was none on this move down, right? Right. Wonderful. <clears throat> there you go, dude. Just reading chat. Thanks, Hainsy, man. Okay, whatever, man. I might just not, I don't even know the day stream, man. Like, <laughs> <sighs> all right, well, there you go, dude. There's a member of the Grateful Dead. Okay, Billy, man, this shows how much I know, right? Shows how much I know. So we always look at Dash and then call it a day. I guess there's just no need for these day streams anymore, I guess, right? No need, no demand. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Dash broke out of the downsloping structure that we've been in since December 2017. Who cares? Falling wedge, we broke out, who cares? Symmetrical triangle, who cares? Downsloping flag or an impulse, who cares? We broke out of it <clears throat> on very high volume and then bull pull bull flag and uh, we just couldn't summon enough to get to higher prices. And here we are, back, right, false breakout, right back into the little channel flag, okay? So, that's it, man. Yeah, it just wasn't, uh, wasn't there, man. So we're just stalling stalling now our targets really our first target was at 28,788 sats that's it dude okay very cool man very very cool all right
Sweet. Okay. What is a blue apex? Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice color, right, man? Very much so. All right. So uh, maybe I don't know. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. You can hit the like button on the way out if you want. But uh, just came on stream for a minute, but no one gets notifications. We have a troll who dislikes the video. No one requests things. People talk about pizzas, and I don't even know. So like, I'm just. I'll be back tonight. All right. Maybe it'll be better then. So I'll be back. Till next time. Respect the TA.